Hello and welcome back to Extra Stars Academy. I am Esther and today we will be looking at the silence K. The silence K. Before we get started, I would like you to connect with me on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't and the name is Extra Stars Academy. Like and follow me also on all the social media platforms and the name is Extra Stars Academy. So you can search for me and follow me, like my pages and also subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and press the bell icon for notification on more of our videos. Now let's get started. Today we will be looking at the silence K. The silence K. Now a silent letter is a letter in a word you don't pronounce. The letter is just there. When you write, you write the letter. But when you read, you don't pronounce the letter. The letter is silent. In writing, it is written. But in pronunciation, it is silent. I've done a couple of videos on silent letters and I'll put them all in a playlist. So you can go over and look at the silent letters we have in English. Now today we will be looking at the silent K. Why do we call it the silent K? When is the K silent in words? Now when you have KN, at the beginning of any word, the K is usually silent. When you have KN, KN, at the beginning of any word, the K is always silent. Now, you know the sound for letter K is K, 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 and the sound for letter N is mm, mm. The sound for K again is And the sound for letter N is mm. So if you see a word with KN, you don't say KNU, KNU, you don't pronounce the K and the M together. The K is always silent. So the K sound is always silent. What you hear in the word is the sound M. Mm. So KN at the beginning of words, the K is always silent. Now I have a couple of words on the board. I would like you to go through with me as we go over the words. We'll say the meaning of the words and we'll look at word examples, how to use some of these words in sentences. I would like you to listen, mimic, that is repeat and practice. So as I say the word, I want you to repeat exactly as I say it. Let's begin. Now the first word we have with a silent K is No. 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 So in this word, you have K-N, but you don't say K-N-O, K-N-O. The K is silence. Okay, and at the beginning, don't forget, the K is silent. So what you have here is no, no, no. Now this word also has the same pronunciation with N-O. No, no, no. Now, no means to realize, to understand, or be aware of something as a result of experience or because you've been told about the thing. No to know, to realize. I know exactly how you feel. I know exactly how you feel. No. No. So it is different from this word, no. The word no doesn't have a K. It means negative, no. And this word has a K, but the K is silent, no. When you're aware of something, when you realize something, I know exactly how you feel. The second word we have with the silent K is knee. Knee. So this word is not knee, knee, knee. No, the K is silent. So what you have is knee, knee, knee. Now knee is.
is the joint between the top and bottom part of the leg. Everyone has a knee. So the joint between the top and the bottom part of your leg is your knee. And it's, it's where you bend. It, it can bend in the middle. This is the knee. I hope you can see my knee. Knee. She was on her knees scrubbing the floor. She was on her knees scrubbing the floor. Knee. Can you touch your knee? Knee. I'm bending to touch my knee. 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 The next word we have is knack. Knack. In the word knack, the K is silent. So you don't say knack. Knack is wrong. You say knack. 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 Knack is a special skill or ability that you naturally have and you can use to learn something. So a natural skill, a natural ability that you have to learn is called knack. Knack. She's got a real knack for making money. She's got a real knack for making money. Knack. The next word we have is need. Need. Need, not need. Need is wrong. So the word is need. Need. Need means to stretch or press a dough. When you want to bake, you miss your flour. So when you press it, you stretch it. It's called need. You're kneading. Need. Or when, you, when you're mixing your clay, you can knead your clay. You use your hands to knead. Knead. Knead the dough properly. Knead the clay. Make it smooth. Knead. Knead. Now this word knead also sounds like an e e d. Knead. When you want something. When you need something. But the need, N-E-E-D, doesn't have a K. So the word is just need. This word need has a K. And it means to stretch or mix with your hands. To make a, a, a clay or flour smooth. To make it smooth for baking. Need. I hope you're with me. The next word we have is new. 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 New is the past form of the word no. When you understand something, when you realize something, in its past form, it is new. New. New to have an information. I knew she would come. I knew she would come. New. This word new also sounds like N E W, N E W, new, something new, something clean, something you just got, new. But this new has a K, but N E W doesn't have a K, but they are pronounced the same. New, new. I hope you're following. Now the next word we have is knit. Knit. Knit, not knit. Knit is wrong because the K is silent. So the word is knit. Knit. Now, knit means to make clothes from wooling or, cut, or cutting thread using needles or machine. When you're trying to make clothes from wooling or cutting thread using your needle, or machine you're knitting knitting I knitted this cardigan myself where is the cardigan <laughs> I knitted this cardigan myself she knitted the baby's clothes knits knits okay now the next word we have is knife knife not knife knife is wrong the K is silent so the word you have here is knife knife 
Nine is a sharp blade with a handle used for cutting. A sharp blade with a handle used for cutting is called knife. So you can have your knife in your kitchen, you can have your knife on the dining table. When you want to eat, you have your cutlery, your eating knife, where you use it eating with your fork. And you could also have a bread knife for cutting bread. So you have knife. Everyone has a knife. So you know the word now is not cut knife. It is knife. Knife. Now the next word we have here is night. Night. This word confuses students because they will say knight, knight. It's the same with K-N with the K being silent. So this is not knight, it is knight, 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 knight. The K is silent. Now who is a knight? A knight is a man who has been given a special honor by the king or queen. A man given a special honor by the king or queen is called a knight, knight. This word also sounds like knight when it's time to sleep and everywhere is dark the sun has gone to bed and the moon is out it is night it is bedtime but that the night does that night doesn't have a k but this night has a k it is pronounced night the k is silent night let's move over now to this side of the board the next word we have is not 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 cannot. Cannot is wrong. The K is silent. It is not. Not. Not is a joint made by tying together two pieces or ends of strings or rope. When you tie two pieces of um, ends of strings or ropes together, it, you're making a knot. Knot. Make a knot at the end of the string make a knot at the end of the string knot knot also sounds like n o t knot knot this has a k it is pronounced the same way knot knot now next on the board we have knock 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 is to hit a door firmly in order to attract attention when you're hitting the door firmly to attract attention you are knocking so the word is knock knock he knocked three times on the window so the word is not knock the k is silent very easy it is knock 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 good i hope you're with me i hope you're following and i hope you're repeating after me the next word we have is knob knob not knob the k is silent so it is knob 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 now knob is a round switch on the machine that you use to turn it on or off a round switch a switch button a switch knob on a machine that you use to turn it on or off so you can have the knob switch on your machine you can have the knob switch on the television where you turn on off that's a knob the next word we have is kneel 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 not kneel the K is silent, so it is kneel. Kneel is to be in or move into a position where your body is supported on your knees. You know we talked about knee. Now you are in a position where your body is supported on your knees. It is kneel. So you bend and you're kneeling. You are in a kneeling position. Kneel. Kneel. We knelt down to pray kneel i always say my prayers kneeling kneel kneel good next we have knuckle knuckle not knuckle 
Konako is wrong. It is Nako. Nako. The K in Nako is silent. Now, Nako is any of the joints in the fingers, especially those connecting the fingers to the rest parts of the hands. The knock is knuckle, knuckle. The joints in your fingers that connect the fingers to the rest part of the hands is called knuckle, knuckle. Now the last word we have here is knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge is an information or understanding or skill that you get from education or experience so you can say he has a wide knowledge of music and painting she has a wi wide knowledge of the english language the word is knowledge knowledge it is not knowledge it is knowledge so english is very easy we know that when a K comes after the N, when you see a word that has K-N, the K is always, always, always silent. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you like this video, don't forget to like, to press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to Extra Stars Academy and press the bell icon for notification on more videos. Till we meet again in my next video, see you soon. Bye for now.